Everton are about to sign Aston Villa midfielder Tim Irogbinam. He is a 20-year-old central midfield player. Uh, he's right-footed. His height is roughly six foot, depending on what you read. And we thought that we would have a little look at some of his numbers. Uh, and I also spoke to James Alcott, who uh, is a big QPR fan, a good mate of ours, uh, about what he thought of Tim uh, when he spent time on loan there. But this is just a little scout report to see what Everton are getting. This is definitely the type of um, age range, the physique, the mobility of players, in my opinion, that Everton Football Club should be going in. We definitely need to freshen up the squad. We definitely need to start looking around for players who are mobile, who can get across the ground well, but also a little bit of progression planning as, as well as in terms of building them into the team. Now, listen, this player is, in my opinion, won't come straight into Everton starting eleven. But he has got experience playing in the Premier League and he's got experience certainly playing in the Championship where he had a, a season-long loan at Queen's Park Rangers. So we'll just have a look at him and hope that he comes in and develops well and and turns in to be a very, very valuable member of Everton's squad. Let's have a look at his stats then so far from his career. Here we go. He plays in a central midfield area, either as a DM or as a number eight. Um, he has played 52 career games. Not all of them are starts. That is the caveat to that. He scored two goals. That was while he was on loan at Queen's Park Rangers. The reported fee is between 9 and £10 million for the player. And he is currently aged 20. He actually turns 21 on the 30th of June. But like I said, good age range for Everton. And, and all the attributes of where you want to see the club moving towards you know, this type of player. And I think... If there's a few more of these to come, then so be it. And it does also, with uh, with Lewis Dobbin possibly going the other way, it does also solve both, well, not solve, but it really helps both teams on the uh, the old PSR as well, which you can never, ever underestimate, can you? The other thing as well with signing Tim Irogbanam is that he'll be have a direct uh, comparison between Aston Villa's Castori shirt and Everton's Castori shirts. And see which of the better ones. So there you go, just a little, a little bit extra there. Uh, let's talk about Tim Irogbanam at Queens Park Rangers. Like I said before, I spoke to my mate James Olcott, asked him about his time at QPR. This is what James had to say about uh, Tim's long spell at Queens Park Rangers. Hello, mate. Hope you're well. Tim Irogbanam. Tim. It's easy to say that. As a QPR player, so he came to us and we had quite a tumultuous season. We had Mick Beal at the start of it. Everything was going really well. He was a sort of solid part of that in a team that played with a midfield three. And it was one where he was kind of one of the eights at times, but there was a lot of rotation there. We were a very possession-based side, working our way up sort of down the sides, um, but through the midfield at the same time. And he would make the odd mistake. But I remember thinking at the time, I would love to see what he's like after 46 games with this manager and with the group. Sadly, the manager went, we brought in a new manager and it all fell apart. So in terms of his time with us, that really, really affected everything. But as a player, he can play as a six, he can play as an eight, he can play as a 10, tall guy, um, eats the ground when he wants to. One thing that I think is probably always good to kind of know before going into it is he's quite nonchalant. He has a sort of nonchalant vibe to the way that he plays. And that at times, I think, can make people think that he's kind of not concentrating or not trying hard enough. And he can be quite nonchalant with his passing as well. And so that leads to him being really calm in terms of getting out of pressure sometimes because he's got those lovely long legs and that ability to drive the ball. And technically, he's got a lovely ability to have a first touch that actually takes him away from a player. That I found phenomenal and, and something that I haven't seen very often at QPR at championship level. But he would give the way, give away the ball every so often. Um, and he did have those moments where you're like, come on, you know, where are you? Um, but it, as I say, it was a very difficult season. Um, and... As the season progressed, he actually ended up playing as a bit of a 10, but it was in a team that didn't really have the ball. But he has the sort of spark of a 10, um, and he has that ability to drive. Interestingly, in his first interview for us, he spoke about the defensive side of the game, which is not why he sort of saw myself. So I think he's one that 
could be incredibly complete. In terms of a ceiling, absolutely good enough for the Premier League, be it maybe not this year out and out, but in time. You know, if you think of it like a James Garner who's come up, took him a second to get that place, but now is a very, very good Premier League player. I think the same goes for, for, for Tim. I think he's a really, really special player that if it clicks for him and he's playing in a team that works for him, I think he could be really, really fantastic for you guys. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say his, you know, I could see him playing for England. I could. I think a lot of things need to click. I think he needs to do really well at you and, and that, you know, then those moments will come. But I, I imagine if he did really well with you, those, you know, those monster clubs, let's say, I know Everton's a monster club, but those guys with the money, they would start sniffing about uh, around him because I think he is a player that can drive with the ball, drive past players, has good awareness, heads on a bit of a swivel. It's just that kind of, um, the sort of tempo with him, which is just that a little bit lower than others. Definitely good enough for the Premier League. I think it's a good buy, especially on the cheap like that. Um, yeah, congratulations. I think as long as he's got his head on straight, which hopefully he has, I think it'll be a really good buy for you and the right kind of profile that Everton need to be going for. Big thanks to James there for uh, for giving us that little bit of a rundown. Sounds very promising. Obviously, does also sound like there's still uh, edges to take off, but that's fine. Uh, let's have a look at his time at QPR, because even though he did feature for Aston Villa last season, a lot of it was bit part, he featured in the Conference League as well. But he played 32 times while he was on loan at Queen's Park Rangers, started 28 of those games uh, and averaged 71 minutes per game during his time there. He scored two goals. Uh, he averaged around 1.2 shots per game as well um, with a passing accuracy of just under 80% at QPR. Uh, 40, just under 41 touches per game and is tackling two tackles per game as well on average and I think the thing is with him is uh, very active around the pitch let's take a look at his heat map as well while we're just discussing his time spent at Queen's Park Rangers there you can see um, his heat map predominantly moving over to the left but he did play as James said he has played in multiple positions for Queen's Park Rangers I think he is seen as a defensive midfield player we got a scout report on him as well just to give us a little bit extra with it. And his, um, a lot of his, his strengths are in interceptions, picks the ball up. Uh, scoring goals is a is something that the people who've watched him think he can add to his game. He's certainly got the potential in terms of getting shots away. Uh, the sty his style is he takes lots of shots. This is what the scout report brought back. He's busy inside the penalty boxes. Uh, he gets shots, takes shots from good goal scoring positions, dribbles quite often which is good, comfortable in possession, really good on the ball. Uh, makes a lot of progressive runs with the ball. Um, isn't one for hitting long raking passes, though. But Everton do need someone to travel through, you know, through the passing lanes with the ball, get up in them thirds, get in and around the edge of the penalty area, particularly if, uh, if we're playing with one striker. The key will be where Sean Dyche plays him when he gets in, if he gets in. We've got a caveat that he is a young player coming into it, but 21 on the 30th of June, you know, players we're seeing people at the well at the Euros, you know, Lamin Yamal for a start, who's, who's 16 playing at the top level. So 21 isn't young anymore, really, if you're good enough. And, and Tim will hopefully for him be able to progress. Um, and that's what it comes down to. It comes down to how good is Everton's coaching now? Can we take him on? Can we bring him into this squad? It needs legs in midfield. Obviously, Andre Gomez has left this summer. Amadou Onana may well go as well. So, an opportunity uh, for Tim to get in there and develop. We saw it with James Garner, who'd had a lot of experience playing in the Championship, nothing really in the Premier League. But Tim Rogban has played more Premier League games than James Garner had uh, when we signed him. So, Hopefully he comes in, progresses, does well pre-season and gets his chance. And if he does that, then Everton will benefit from it. He has represented England under 20 on seven occasions so far and scored two goals. I know that I spoke to a few people I know who are Villa fans and, and do stuff for Aston Villa. And they're really disappointed that he's leaving. They're, some of them aren't happy that he's being allowed out the door. But obviously the way the rules are and PSR and everything, Aston Villa have made the call on it. And maybe if it had been different, they wouldn't be letting them go. 
But I think the lad also wants to try and get more games and wants to force his way in. So good opportunity for him to come in at Everton and do that. And hopefully, um, hopefully he'll come in and do really well. And this will be the start of a new era at Everton, bringing in younger players uh, from clubs and, and you know in and around Europe as well and developing them and building a team from there. So that is our little look at Tim Rogbanam, who is set to sign for Everton. I'm sure we'll do something else the minute he's uh, he has signed and, and all of that stuff. And hopefully we'll see quite a bit of him in the pre-season. Once again, big thanks to James Alcott for taking the time out to do the video for us. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Are you happy with this one? This is a good signing. Do you want to see more like this? Let us know in the comments section below. Uh, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.